Hey boys, welcome back to some more spin bowling cream mode. It is round four of the Matador Cup, 50 over comp here. And we've been we've been performing very, very well. This is actually the first video I'm making since coming back from my week-long break. Um So yeah, it's it's good to it's good to get back into the swing of things. Obviously, this isn't gonna be the first video that uh that gets uploaded since the break because I did I did have a few videos saved up um, just because you know I've said it before but I do record like in batches and have um have plenty on the go so there there'd be a few there'd be a few I don't, I don't know how many there would have been but there there'd be a couple um but yeah back into it now which is good so hopefully I haven't forgotten how to uh how to commentate these it's sort of you know, pretty straightforward, I guess, nowadays, so, we're coming in with, uh, I mean, the, the run rate's pretty good, but, uh, the early wickets, and I didn't see their team lineup, I think there are a couple of strange plays in there, um, but, uh, I think overall it was, it was pretty standard, uh, other than a, other than a few weird ones, Nick Manson is, uh, is actually, it looks like he's starting to find a little bit of form, Nick Manson, he, uh, you know, he broke into the international side, um, for some reason, and he failed quite miserably, but see, you know, he, it seems like you know, he's, he's starting to get his form back a little bit. I was never a huge fan of Madison, but it's good to see him starting to score a few runs. But right here, he's, he's going very nicely, 45 off 35, and Gibson is the new man to the crease. As that one's a pretty good ball, that one beat him. Beat him, uh, maybe for a little bit of pace. He just got a little, or a thick outside edge, squirted to the man. As that one is a ripping delivery. Madsen goes for that uh, sort of goal swing shot over mid on and uh, just misses it. It's right here. Is that is that a wicket? No, it's not. I thought the keeper might have taken a, a very good pad, pad catch, but not to be. As this one is is flicked over mid wicket by by Gibson. Didn't really get much of it. I thought um I thought it was going big for a second. It is going to trickle for four, but it uh, it didn't land too far away from the fielders. And uh, the field I've got set obviously is not really a field. It's right here. It didn't carry. I could not believe this. I was just about to say I haven't like changed. Usually I change the field, but that's like the default field. And there was actually like a, I mean I guess he's like a slip in place. I don't know what he would like third slip. I don't know. Pretty wide and pretty deep, which is annoying. And you'll see right here, very frustratingly, there was a man in place for it. The big outside edge looks a little funny on the replay there, but big outside edge, he doesn't get to it. It just bounces. He should have. He should have got to it. That's that's poor play from our from our slips fielder. And uh, it's not going to matter though. We do pick up Gibson with the ripping delivery. The previous one outside edge, just you know a bit of natural variation just going across him this one rips back and uh, uh big inside edge nice catch from jimmy pearson and also manson is gone as well i didn't mention that but manson departed for 48 or 46 so he um he slowed up a bit i don't know we must have pinned him down and causing a few uh a bit of pressure i guess as this is a this is a good ball look at this one that is a fantastic piece of uh action there and a great catch there that was a big that was a big deviation it, it took off jimmy pearson with uh the quick hands to get to it that was a, that's a terrible shot by panson <laughs> he played the complete long, wrong line of that one and we've got a couple of couple of new men to the crease so i mean they're, they're still in a decent position here the blues but you know keeping up wickets getting the new men to the crease and you'll see right here seven for 141 we're into our last over so we're not you know i didn't pick up a stack of wickets as this one is that out not out not out i thought i thought it was an edge for a second and it was a a drop catch we are going to look at the replay lbw definitely um probably spinning a bit too much maybe a bit high uh does uh yeah, it looks like it just hits him on the um, the back thigh. It looks, it looks pretty close. I maybe should have looked at the uh, the ball tracking, but um, yeah, our spell has not been full of wickets. As that's a decent shot by Sandu there, but not a not a bunch of wickets, but keeping it fairly tight. Probably I wouldn't say a poor bowling performance. I mean, but uh, probably one of our worst ones. I mean, going like 
a bit over four and over and only the one wicket make that two there we go we get a wicket off our last ball of the spell and uh, it, it pushes our figures from okay to uh, to pretty good two for 41 off 10 I mean you'll take that every day of the week as a, as a spinner so you know can't complain with that a nice catch there from square leg running around and it uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty uh, pretty mediocre score and uh, two balls to go actually it wasn't our, <laughs> it wasn't last ball of the spell but a chance to to maybe sneak a, uh, a three for here we are bowling to another tail ender and another new batter so a good chance of this one good ball but he has just defended it which is frustrating for me but it's a, it's a great great team bowling performance this time as we are gonna bundle them out for a fairly a fairly weak total it has to be said as we come in here with the 50 average and we've been batting just outstandingly really Chris Lynn is up the other end as uh, we get off the mark with the interesting shot just sort of scoops that one away to find leg for the single and what are we chasing we still need still need 65 of 176 I mean yeah it, the game should be in the bag you know a few few wickets lost can cause some headaches as that's a it's a good shot just hitting into the gap and that was a feature of our of pretty much all our other batting performances the the placement with our shots have been outstanding picking up twos at ease and uh bad ball hitting it for four it's been it's been great batting is this one i thought it was pretty close to lp <laughs> they didn't even appeal but I obviously i i hit it but it would have been plum i just got a little inside edge to it as that's a, it's again they got men back and they've got men in close trying to save the singles <laughs> a direct hit and uh chris lynn was struggling there but you know just hitting it past that men in close and still into the gap to pick up a couple so move on to five here a fairly a fairly steady start and uh we're just gonna go bang here that's uh that's a six that is a shot and a half sandu just dropping it short and wide and there was no one back it was just free the arms here have a slash bit of a top edge and six runs they do me uh, do move a man to uh third man which you know a little bit strange because it's it's a bad ball so you don't really want to move fields to uh to accommodate bad bowling but you know you're probably third man is generally the right idea is right here well <laughs> oh what was i thinking i just run chris lynn out that was uh that was a mistake i <laughs> i i thought I don't know I thought it or I must have thought it was the last ball of the over for one and I was trying to get back on strike and and then we just sold Chris Lynn up the river that was that was poor that was poor teamwork but you know what you know what I'm not gonna get out for that one is uh, we try a fairly interesting shot right there um, don't know what I was trying to do with that one I think I was trying to honestly I think I was trying to do like a scoop shot but they're so hard to play. I, I don't know. I just can't seem to play the scoop. So it ended up being a um, a switch hit, which we just missed completely. It was actually probably the right ball to play it to, but yeah. Uh, but that's a good shot. That's a little bit more, a little bit more technical right there. A nice little uh, pull shot, just rocking back, hitting into the gap, and you know, I I don't know why I was trying to play so fancy this game. We um, there's plenty of gaps. I mean, if we look now like cover mid off even um like right there if we can beat that man it's easy runs square leg fine leg plenty of runs to be had so i don't know why i was trying to be so fancy and uh it was terrible stuff to run our our boy chris lynn out i don't know what <laughs> that, was, that was shocking play but um yeah like i, I, I was gonna say i'd rather I, as much as it, it pains me to say i'd rather lose chris lynn than myself so that's sort of what had to happen, unfortunately. Just a mis, uh, misjudgment. As, uh, that's a good shot. The, the reverse sweep that time. The spinner is in. Duke, I don't think this is a proper player. It might be. I know there are some players that I've said haven't been proper players, but have turned out to be correct. But I'm pretty sure this is not a uh, proper player. But I could be mistaken. As again, heading into the gap. Just a little bit behind that man on the, on the rope pick up an easy two so 32 to to win and by that calculation we can't quite get our 50 but if we play our card right we could potentially 
with uh, with a boundary or something to, to win it as that's a uh, that's a big shot 107 meters that's a it's a big uh, big six anything over 100 is huge anything over 90 is, is a big hit so that was that was a good shot he just um over pitched as uh, that's a good shot as well he just it's funny the game the game is realistic in a sense because the ball before he threw it up there it was over pitched but it was slower we come down the wicket, hit it for six, and the next ball, 92 Ks, he darts it in faster and flatter. Like, that is, is extremely realistic to, to how bowlers, like, think. You know, you don't want to, oh, obviously not every time, but it is fairly common. If a bowler gets hit over his head, he's going to throw it in a little quicker, a little flatter. And uh, it's been a big over. Very good batting. As uh, this one a little... Uh, <laughs> I was trying to sneak the single because um, we are on 36. So, yeah, I was trying to sneak it, but I I went against it. I thought we better not run Reed now. We can't run two of our, our boys out in this, uh, this one innings here. So, we didn't do it. Uh, but, yeah, we need, what are we on, 36? We need 21 to win. So, we can get our 50. Maybe I'll... Was I mistaken before? I must be. <laughs> I must have been mistaken before with the mass. I didn't. I don't know what was it. I can't even remember. But we can easily get our our fifty here if we just hog the strike and and play well. So yeah, that's what we're gonna gonna try to do. We're uh, <laughs> we go down the pitch here. That's a it's a good shot. I mean they got a fairly you know trying to save the trying to save the runs. That's pretty much what they have to do at this stage. And as a uh, that is a shot and a half. Sean Abbott just gets met right there. Lovely swing of the bat. Not a slog like some other shots I've played this innings. That one just just following through and just working with the angle. That was that was fantastic. But right here, 46, and we need... I, I don't know what we needed, but I, it was very good by Reardon. and he hit a single to give us a chance to get our 50 because I think, what do we need, like four to win, I think it was? Now, we needed three to win, so if he hit a four, we would have won. And uh, I need to hit a boundary, this ball. And uh, he's given us a nice, juicy, full one outside off, and we just go bang, hit it over point. Reverse sweep, bit of a, uh, a trademark of our, our batting. That's another 50, 50 off 25. Excellent batting. Besides running our, our teammate Chris Lynn out, it's been, a, it's been a fantastic innings, and that's the win. Win by six wickets. Again, picking up a couple of wickets, getting runs, and we do pick up man the match, which is probably pretty well deserved. So, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.